Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. Uh, real quickly, I'm going to show you how to start a portrait and starting your facial proportion. Alrighty, um, we're going to be using these skills for the next couple weeks while we learn how to draw accurate people and especially different facial features. Alright, proportions are super important, so if you haven't yet, make sure you go and watch the video. Uh, the lesson video about facial proportions, it's super important and it will make everything clear as to why what we're doing here today is important. All right, that way this, that will make this easier. Okay, so to start, when you're starting a portrait, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw your head shape. Remember, a head shape is like an oval and it's an oval that's egg shaped, right? So it's an oval that is skinny on the bottom, right, where our chin is, and then it's fatter on the top. All right, and then our head kind of tapers down and is skinnier down here. So it's like an upside down egg. All right, so on your paper, remember you want to fill your paper top to bottom. All right, you want to leave somewhere on the top for your hair. Okay, so don't go quite all the way to the top. All right, leave like an inch, inch and a half at the top of the paper. All right, and it's easier for me to draw, when I'm drawing a curve, it's easier for me to start at the top and draw down. So that's what I usually do. Remember, we're going to use light little lines. I'm going to draw around. Remember, if you make a mistake, just redraw. Okay. All right, you want to make sure your skin, your your chin area, right, it's going to be a little bit flat on the bottom where your chin is. It's kind of usually look pretty flat here. All right, and then it kind of tapers up and around to the top of your head. Okay, so keep these things in mind. Remember, if you need to turn your paper while you work, you can. So my head, there you go. You can see I've made several little mistakes, but that's okay. First off, this is just a sketch, so we don't really have to worry about mistakes right now. We're just practicing, right? But, and I'm just gonna go until I get the sh kind of shaped head that I want, all right? So I see the head I want in there, so I'll just now, I can erase all my mistakes. Remember, it's important that we fix our mistakes before we erase. Otherwise, we accidentally will, we will end up making the same mistakes over and over again. Um, so, correct first, then erase. Okay, and my eraser is broken, so that's unhelpful. All right. I'm just going to erase along. All right, remember, this is also important as to why we draw light little lines when we're drawing. That way, when we erase, it makes it easier to erase. If you draw really dark lines, then you will actually make more mistakes, and um, it will be harder to erase them, all right, when you press really hard with your pencil. So, there's my head shape. It's not a perfect oval shape, but nobody's head is perfect, so it's totally fine if yours is a little janky, all right. Um, I know it might be a little bit hard to see. Let me see if I can up the contrast a little bit. Yep, that didn't help. All right. All right. So, all right, I will try to make sure to keep my lines kind of dark so that you can see them. I know this camera can be a little janky sometimes. Alrighty. So, once we have our head shape down, we can start drawing our, um, our proportions in. Alright, so the first thing... Alright, sorry about that, guys. So the first thing you're going to do after you draw your head shape is we are going to start drawing our proportion lines. And the first one we're going to draw is called an eye line. Your eye line is where your eyes are, right? It's pretty simple. All right, and your eye line, a lot of people think it's going to be up here. This is your forehead. We don't want our eyes up here. Your eye line is actually going to be here in the middle. All right, so you're going to measure. You don't have to get out a ruler and measure. Um, you can kind of eyeball it, but to the best of your ability, measure from the top of your head to the bottom of your head and find the middle point, all right? 
and then just draw a straight line across, all right? That is your eye line, all right? So your eye line is halfway between the top and bottom of your face. All right, if you look at your own head, you'll notice that the space between your eyes and the top of your head is the same as the space between your eyes and the bottom of your head. All right, it just looks like they're further up on our head because our hair hides the top of our head. All right, so we kind of forget that our face doesn't, our head doesn't end here, it ends up here. All right, so halfway between the top and bottom of your head is your eye line. Then, so now our head is divided into two parts. And this top part, we're going to draw another line. This line is going to be halfway between the top and the eye line. All right, so halfway between these two points. You're in the middle. We're going to draw another line. All right, and this is our hairline. All right, this face here is going to be your forehead. And this line is where your hair is going to start, all right? Where your hair and your forehead meet, that's right here, okay? Then, in this bottom section, we're going to measure out between the eye line and the bottom halfway, about right there, okay? If it's not perfectly in line, that's okay. If you want to get out a ruler and measure it and double check, you can do that too. All right, especially if you're still learning measurement, that's a good idea. All right, and this line here, I call it the mustache line because this line is where your nose ends and it's where the top of your lip is, that little space between your nose and your mouth, right? If you had a mustache, that's where it would go, right? So that's your mustache line, all right? So, all right, so we have our head is divided into four sections now. Right, so up here at the top, this is our hairline, so our hair is gonna start here, and then this is our forehead face. Our eyes are gonna be right on top of this line. All right, and then our nose will actually also start here, right? And then it, your nose will come down, and it will come all the way down to the mustache line. And then right under the mustache line will be the top of the lip, all right, and you'll draw the mouth in here. All right, and your mouth will actually take up half of this space. So if you draw, an, you can draw another line between the mustache line and the bottom. All right, your mouth should be that big. Okay. So. All right, so those are our proportions, right? And then if you want to, if you want to measure out between the two sides to find the middle, so you know, so you can make sure the nose is centered and the eyes are centered around it, you could do that too. All right, that's also a really good idea if you needed a line down there in the middle to help you make sure your face is even and not like this, right? You want it in the middle. You can also do that. That is absolutely an option for you. So for homework, what you're going to do, this is what you're going to be doing for homework. We're going to be doing this in class as well. But for homework, you're going to finish it and you're going to add in your face. All right? So it doesn't have to be your face. You can draw any face. You can make up your own face. You can do whatever you want. It's totally fine. All right, but you are going to draw out your head, put in your facial, your lines for your hairline, your eye line, and your mustache line. All right, I know mine's drawn really lightly. All right, but you can see I, my lines are still there. I haven't erased them. Oh, I'm sorry. We're getting a light show. All right, and then once you draw in your lines, you're going to add in your facial features. All right, and then make sure you give yourself a neck so your head doesn't float. I almost forgot my neck on this one, so make sure you don't forget. All right, and then just, I know we haven't discussed how to draw eyes, noses, or mouths yet. We're going to get there in the next couple weeks. All right, uh, we did learn eyes last year, though, so, you know, if you can't remember, just do the best you can. I want to see what you can do. All right, I know you're not going to be, we're not going to be perfect at it, and that's fine. If you want to go on YouTube and find tutorial to do it, I think there are tutorials on the Google Classroom in the YouTube section of the Classwork page. I think I've posted some tutorials there on how to draw these features, so if you want to use those, you totally can. All right, but draw out a really simple portrait. You don't have to color it. All right, just make sure you got your eyes, nose, mouth. Make sure you use the, the proportions, the proportion lines I just showed you to get your proportions right. All right, sketch in some hair. 
Here we tell the neck, right? A really simple portrait. This shouldn't take you very long at all. When I did this one, I mean, I think it took me maybe 20, 30 minutes. So it won't take you long at all. And we're going to start it in class. So you'll just have to finish it and then make sure you take a picture and turn it in on the Google Classroom. All right? You guys are awesome. And I cannot wait to see all of your glorious portraits online. Bye.